So I was put onto something pretty interesting today by one of my mates. He put me onto this article about deep learning generative design. Now, what that is, it's where you get highly powered computers running deep learning algorithms. Um, you feed them some variables based on what you want. And then the, the computer comes out with a load of different possibilities. And then the human operator filters those possibilities himself or herself. And then eventually you uh, drill down to the optimal based on what the computer deems to be the best design. You can have a look at this page that I've got up at the moment to get a, a better idea of it. But I was scrolling down looking at the things that have been designed and I spied a bicycle stem. So I had a little look at this. It turns out that the person who designed this bicycle stem, well, <laughs> the person who commissioned the design of this bicycle stem by the computer, um, did so with a plugin for Maya. Now Maya is a 3D bit of 3D software, um, and the, the plugin is called Dreamcatcher. So the way it works, again, you can look at this article yourself. So you know, I'm, don't feel like I'm just reading it to you. But um, the way it works is you set some variables, and in, in this case, the person set the variables of the part where the bar is clamped and the part where the steering tube is clamped, um, and then they set the software to work, and it came up with. Well, this thing, based on the criteria of the person who uh, started it going. Now, this is interesting, very interesting, in fact, extremely interesting, because uh, this is how things will be designed and made in the near future. Looking at this stem here, that's going to snap on it straight away. That, that won't hold up for shit. But that is because the variables are not laid out as, as they should be. But if we can get past that, and if we can fine-tune the... Uh, fine-tune the way the computer designs things, we, we can get the uh, deep learning system to uh, make objectively the optimum, prime, perfect design for whatever application of cycling you want it to, you want to do. So for example, you, you, could, you could set it with no human bullshit involved, no emotion, no desire to sort of look like something else to sell it. You can set the computer to make what is objectively the most aerodynamic frame or you can make it make the computer make what is objectively the lightest frame or you can you can set the computer to make it 60% of its mass should be devoted to stiffness 40% should be, should be devoted to aerodynamics etc right you can set all these different you know variables and then just press go on the computer and it will come out with what is the best design based on all the millions of different things that it, it will process um, so let's have a quick look at this dream catcher thing then uh, this is an Autodesk bit of kit. Now Autodesk are the guys who make AutoCAD and they make the uh, fluid uh, testing software as well that I like to play around with and melt my graphics card with. So again, you can have a look at this yourself, but the way it works, it says here, it gives you a load of different, a load of different options based on different criteria, basically. So why do I think this is gonna take over design in the near future? Well, algorithmic learning has already taken over finance and trading. Anybody who does any trading, be that day trading, swing trading, positional trading or anything like that, anybody in the financial financial world knows that the algorithms are the, uh, are the, the, the monsters that are floating there in the dark who can strike far faster than any human can do. And, uh, you know, when they came in around sort of 2011, 2012, when they made, the, made their presence felt, the entire trading world had to shift humans are no longer in control. And that is how it is now. Even if you look on GitHub, right? Like, look at this. This is uh, called Quant Econ. All right, this is an open source quantitative trading system. Quantitative economics, there you go. Uh, run by some university dudes. Uh, and they offer it for free. Anybody can download this and, and set it running and set it trading for you and make money for you, all right? So if, if this is working in the trading world and money is where things happen first, then, you know, in design and uh, hobbies, it will uh, come in next, all right? So this will be making itself felt very soon. I do wonder, I do wonder though, you know, how different the designs will be to what we've got at the moment. And in fact, how, how close we've got as stupid humans to the perfect design of a bicycle. I do feel that we've sort of probably pretty close but uh, it'll be interesting to see what the computers come up with 
um, when there's you know not human emotion or, or or advertising or any sort of conflict of interest involved in the design when they're just going for it on a purely design basis on a purely performance basis so yeah that's pretty interesting isn't it the alien style of deep learning generative design 